Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming back at you with another video. Today is an update, a small update, but an update on the brother ruckus, or my brother's ruckus, or the ruckus that's my brother's, or the brother ruckus project, or whatever. Um, you know that I've had problems with my ATR harness. I got those more or less ironed out, and now I can continue back onto the other projects again. Uh, um, it is my, my Ruckus is my primary bike, so whenever I have problems, I have to make sure that I focus on that and get it correct. Uh, now that that's done, I'm gonna ride that around for a couple weeks, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the 171 project. But before that, um, I need to make some progress on the Brother Ruckus because for one thing, it's occupying my lift in my garage, <laughs> and I would like to have it ready for me to use whenever it comes time to do my 171. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. So, if you're wondering why this is here, is because I was doing a compression test on it and I can't get it to turn over. Um, I went ahead and hooked up the harness, the old harness that I had. I knew it would at least turn the motor over. Um, and, you know, I've connected it together. That's basically your key. <laughs> and then this is my start button and um, I've hooked everything together and it won't turn over. I believe that this starter is bad. I tried to jump it and I couldn't get it to make any noise. Uh, and there's no Kickstarter to check compression. So that sucks. Um, thank you Ruck City for, uh, donating this nut here that I had lost. Um, I, I had misplaced this nut right here and I couldn't find it. And I wanted to make sure I got the right size that would fit on here. So great. Uh, if you look on this side, you can see that I've hooked everything up. I've hooked everything but the stator. I didn't think I needed to have the stator plugged in to do a test start. Um, I figured everything would still turn the motor. It just wouldn't fire up because I don't have the stator connected. Because I still need to rewire this stator to the right connector. Uh, if anyone knows any... Sorry, I ran out of memory card. Uh, I don't know if I have to have this hooked up to make it start. Um, then I got... Anyway, so what I needed to do was I used my compression tool and I couldn't start it, so I tried to spin it as fast as I possibly could with my uh, wrench. And I was able to get decent compression, but I can't spin it fast enough to make good compression. Uh, I put the valve cover back on, put the carb. I got most of the wiring for the fuel line hooked up in the vacuum, fu the vacuum fuel pump. Uh, now that I know that it's good, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take the motor off. And then I'm going to give my brother the frame with the front wheel and let him do whatever he wants to do with it to get it uh, powder coated or whatever it is that he wants to do. Um, I know he has big plans. But he needs to take this off so he can polish this front wheel because it's pretty bad. Uh, and then clean off some of this rust. Like some serious rust. Uh, and this is pretty cool. I might steal it from him. <laughs> Anyways, there we are with that so far. So not a lot has been done. Uh, I still need a harness. I took his harness and I put it in my bike. Uh, so I need to get him harness. Um... <laughs> Uh, so if anyone has a harness they want to donate that's not super chopped up like mine, then that would be great. Otherwise, we're just going to have to buy a new one. Uh, <coughs> but, uh, yeah. So, we are. that's where we are with that. I didn't want to leave you guys in the cold because it seems like sometimes projects just die and I don't let anyone know. And I know that this one isn't going to die because my brother really wants to ride around on this ruckus. Um, quick side note. Uh, the Zuma's good. You've probably seen a couple of videos for the Zuma. Um, trying to get that customized uh, a little bit more. I still want to kind of keep it mostly stock so that it's a good reliable bike. But then, like, you know, how can you resist? <laughs> still getting over the flu. Um, so, there you go. If you got any guys... If you guys got any... Oh, yeah, that's right. I might go to a 14 inch stretch for my ruckus so I might take my uh, JDM password mount and give it to him so he can use it on a different frame uh, and get away from that welded 
mount that's kind of annoying. But anyways, just little updates of possibilities. Anyways, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.